Well, this may be one of the sillier things I've done. <laughs> and it's a miracle I got home without getting a ticket. I actually only passed, I think, four cars coming through town as oncoming traffic, and then I managed to get on a frontage road, which was two lanes each way. So then I just drove right down the middle of the road and didn't have to worry about passing cars. But, oh, sticking over about six feet on each side <laughs> on a seven-foot trailer. Anyway, these are crepe myrtle bushes. And these are from the job in town where I dug out all the pecans and the big sycamore. He also had these crepe myrtles in his yard that he wanted taken out. And so I figure, well, if we're going to take them out anyway, you know, he wants them just gone. I might as well try to save them because we like crepe myrtles around here. You know, some people love them, some people hate them, whatever. But I figured, what the heck, let's at least just try to save them. So they're basically massive bare root transplants. This may or may not work, I don't know, but they're dormant. And so I'm hoping because they're dormant, this will be okay. Years ago, I tried digging out, um, and this was silly back then, I tried digging out a couple of trees with Rosie when I, back when I was digging the pond, and it was dead of the summer. I dug them out, moved them over, plopped them in the mud, and of course they didn't survive. But like I said, I'm hoping now that we live here at the farm, we'll get these uh, taken out and Put them, get them transplanted and get them healed in and they might actually survive especially since they're dormant and because we'll be able to be here to kind of foster them as they sprout if any of this survives cool if not oh well the trees were going to get destroyed anyway anyway there's three <clears throat> there's three main bushes if you will there's actually this great big thing in the middle there it's some sort of it's not a crepe myrtle it's some sort of other tree that was growing up through the middle of the crepe myrtles but like this great big tall one here on top that's part of the crepe myrtle there's a bunch of greenbrier vine mixed in it. There's a bunch of yopon mixed in it. We'll get all that cleaned out once we get them planted. But for right now, I just need to get them off the trailer and find a place to put them. So I'm thinking, now that I just put all my work into trying to plant some nice grass in the front yard, we're gonna dig that up and try to put them there. So we're gonna go with one here on this sort of point, one on this sort of point to kind of define the driveway, and then another one back there on that far point back by the pond, which means, of course, I'm going to drive through the mud and the muck through my nice ditch and tear all that up even more. But, hey, whatever. I'll fix it eventually and make it look pretty. But for now, let's see if we can get them off the trailer. I tried yesterday to pick them up with a strap, like as a, with the root ball being on the bottom and the strap just slid up the tree. And so I ended up just picking them up with the, with the thumb on the excavator instead. So I know that's going to you know, break a few more. But like I said, this is purely, if we, if they survive, great. If not, oh well, I'll tear them out in the spring when I realize that they're dead and we'll put something in their place. So we're going to do these today, actually. And then since I'm in kind of tree planting mode, I've got out here in the woods, we've got some big maples um, and a couple of decent sized Chinese tallow that I'm actually thinking about moving. At least the maples. There's one good maple over there, but it's right beside a pine. So I don't know if I want to try to dig it out. But there's a whole little cluster of maples right here that I like to move. And we'll just kind of space those out through the yard too if we can and just uh like i said same thing hopefully they survive if they do cool we have some shade trees in the yard and if they don't well oh well at least we tried it didn't really cost us anything other than time so anyway let's get these uh crepe myrtles off the trailer first and see if we can't get a few of them planted Look at that. That's not bad, huh? 
want to do that anymore? I don't want to put my butt because I don't want to get to Oh, working, okay? Okay, we need to go get a shovel and throw a bunch of this clay around the tree to stabilize it. And then we're gonna go get a bunch of uh, goat poop out of the goat barn and we're gonna throw that around until it has good soil. Okay, so we started with the first little one over there. That's the one you guys watched me set down on the ground. Um, and I, I was gonna, you know, start trying to fill back in around it and go get goat manure, for fertilizer and all this stuff for it. And then I thought, you know what? I better just get this stuff off the trailer and put in place before it starts to rain because hey, it's raining. Anyway, the second one's dug. It's sitting over there on the ground. I haven't stood it up yet. And here's the third and largest. And there wasn't really any reason to put the biggest one back here other than just it was the last one off the trailer. But I wanted to show how I've set it in there now. Um, I did my best to just kind of set the roots in the hole. You know, there's gonna be a lot of roots that are still gonna get lost and be sticking out, but the bulk of them are in the hole and they're gonna get covered back up. But I went ahead and set three T-posts uh, you know kind of in a triangular pattern to try to pull it all tight i used a ratchet strap in there around the main center tree and you know pulled it over to each post one at a time and then once it was tight against the post then i tied the twine so the twine now is good and you know yeah it's good and tight so hopefully this is enough to hold it we've actually got a storm coming right now this little rain is just a little bit ahead of it but uh it might get pretty nasty this afternoon so we'll see if the wind is enough to knock anything down anyway that's the biggest reason to get them tied off and you know they'll have to stay tied for i don't know a year or two until that root network really gets out in the ground and expands but let's see i've got it still kind of held on with the excavator so let's jump up here and see if i let go of it what happens and if it holds we'll try to hustle on over and get that other one stood up oh nothing like playing in the mud huh all right let's see open my bucket pull them up a bit It wants to fall over, but this front string right here just went slack, which means it tried to come towards that string a little bit. That string is going way slack. It is trying to fall over. Oh, my string on the other side broke. Oh my God. That freaking string on the other side broke or the knot came undone. You piece of crap. Well, I'm glad you guys got to see that. So now I'll try to stand it back up again and tie that one again. I think then it'll hold. Now we at least know which way it wants to go, so we'll make that one extra strong. <laughs> All right, round two. And since it showed me that it wanted to fall basically that direction, I actually pulled this front post out because it wasn't doing any good, and I put it on the back side. You can see it just right over here. I double strung that one string that broke, and I tied this one back here. So now let's try to let go again and see what happens. on the bucket, up on the boom, and we're out of it, I think, I hope, because I can't, I don't think I got any more up on the boom, maybe I do, yeah. we're off of it, okay, well, it didn't fall yet. Oh, it's so top heavy towards this direction, which it'll straighten up a little bit, I think, once it, once it grows, obviously, it'll straighten up more towards the sun. Right now, it's all wanting to lean to the right. That's why it's wanting to fall, but I might come around a few more strings just for, just to dummy proof it. I really don't want to be working out here in the rain, but I don't have any choice. And I might put a ratchet tie on them too, just because that'll be a little stronger, a little faster than a string, but 
Anyway, it's holding for now. Yippee, let's go do the other ones.